Good afternoon, everyone. This video is brought to you by foodforliberty.com forward slash adapt 2030 heirloom vegetable seed kits, enough for you to grow a 10 acre garden. Check out the link below to see what else they offer. Al Gore's new release, The Inconvenient Truth number two, absolutely flopped at the box office. And you might want to ask yourself why. Well, the temperatures are lower now than when he won the Nobel Prize. It's snowing in July in Wyoming. Winter temperature records being broken across Australia. Britain cold is starting 35 years to the holiday season. Canceled sailing trek to the North Pole due to solid pack ice. And the first time in 38 years, Denmark no summer days. Maybe this would explain why. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and then click the bell so you can stay subscribed and get the latest updates. Al Gore's new movie has definitely flopped. Coming in at number 15 at the box office, Truth to Power, an inconvenient sequel, trying to still tell us that global warming is man-made CO2 emissions, and I'm going to continue to use the words global warming, because that's what I grew up with. And then the bait and switch came because their prophecies didn't come true, so they termed it climate change now. I'm not buying it. I was taught global warming as a science. 97% of the scientists agree global warming, so it's still global warming. So that global warming 2 movie that came out, twice as many screens, yet none of the profits. Well, when you look at the fact, when Gore won the Nobel Prize, the temperatures are now lower than when he won that prize. Why not here for you? If you're looking for real truth about what's happening with the climate and the IPCC agenda and the global consumption taxes and the global emissions taxes on everything you buy and consume, Climate Hustle, Mark Morano's movie, definitely top notch. I encourage you to watch this so you can get the real truth about this whole agenda going on. It's no longer science, it's an agenda. Farmer's Almanac can predict snowy cold winter weather coming to the Northeast United States. And then we start to see snow in July in Wyoming. And we also saw snow in August already in Colorado. And then this thing called a fog NATO in Santa Cruz, California. It was actually a spinning vortice fog bank that came over the beach. Really amazing when you watch the video. It was spinning. And then somebody from the ranch in Big Sur took this image of the backside of this event happening. So you can see about how large that fog bank was. And finally, now, August 17th, Britain got its first hottest day for the whole entire summer. But when you look at the entire summer, it's the coldest start in 35 years with more rain and gales than normal. And these blistering temperatures of 20 degrees Celsius in August is the high temperature. Even over in Ireland, it's only 19 degrees. What about Wales up north there? 16 degrees. In Scotland and Wales, 18. Glasgow. What a scorcher. Make sure you put on the UV 50 sunscreen for those temperatures. And it does look kind of gray and a little bit winter-like up there during the summer. And then when we do look at the London peak temperatures, 2017, top temperature, 23 degrees Celsius. Even when you go back to 1991, it's still pushing 29C back then. So I can see why nobody's really believing Al Gore's prophecies any longer. Down to Australia, winter temperatures breaking eight-year August record, as well as these massive winds coming through, severe damaging winds, not to mention the blizzards that have rolled across southern Australia, and the whole controversy about the Bureau of Meteorology having to install new temperature stations because the, the software they installed wouldn't register any temperatures below 10 degrees below Celsius. Literally, it pegged at that. So if it was below that temperature, it didn't register. Talk about temperature manipulation in the data. And then we jump over to Denmark. First summerless July in 38 years. This comes directly from the DMI. And then really, this is the cherry on the cake here. A sailing trek to the North Pole to prove that there's global warming was canceled due to solid pack ice. There's more ice now than there was in 1971. That's inconvenient. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And if you do like this type of information, please support me on PayPal or Patreon as YouTube has been demonetizing my videos as of late.